In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys six tips of how to master growing small account. These are actually the few tips that actually helped me to master my craft in actually growing either big or small account. But in this instance, we're focusing on how to grow a small account. Stick around with me so you don't miss out. Make sure you get some refreshments, you get yourself some drinks, some to eat, popcorn and all of it because this video is going to be damn amazing. What is going on everybody? This is your boy, the GOAT Andy Zar. There's VS, there's VSOP, and there's EXO. And I'm the EXO Forex, King of Prize Action. If you didn't know that, you are the only one in here. You don't know. What's Gucci everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit, hit, hit that like button and please subscribe. So basically guys, as I've mentioned, this video is about the six tips that actually helped me towards my trading success. Stick around with me and let's get straight to it. Tip number one, take it step by step. Start slow. Guys, what I mean by actually starting slow is actually having to understand that being a forex trader doesn't really just come about being successful overnight. It kind of takes some certain time because it needs to take you to a certain level that you have to be. Because remember, there's a character of a successful forex trader and also there's a character of a beginner trader. So what you actually need is the fact that you don't have to skip stages because we live in a generation whereby we are so programmed by the things we see. So a lot of people tend to misconfuse their actual goals when joining Forex Trader. That is your goal to be a successful Forex Trader or you want the things you see on social media. Social media has actually killed a lot of dreams, guys. What I mean by this is because of the fancy cars, fancy houses, fancy lifestyle that you, you end up envying the lifestyle, forgetting that you are still a beginner. Automatically, the minute you start, you start already in the picture of somebody who's already successful in trading and stuff like that. Understand you have to start low. It doesn't happen out of a snap. It doesn't happen overnight. Even those people, you would be shocked when you figure out somebody has been trading for the past six years, seven years, and you are already eight months in or five months in. Already you're telling yourself that you're not a successful first trader. You've been struggling, blah, blah, blah and all of that type of stuff. It doesn't really work like that, guys. Start slow. It's a step-by-step -step process. You are not rushing anywhere. The main goal is to be a successful forex trader before actually starting to enjoy the fruits that come with being a successful forex trader. Tap out of the mindset of the community or the social lifestyle that everybody lives because everybody's so good at convincing they are successful than actually being successful. So don't be trapped on the lifestyle side but trapped on your goal side where you understand for you to get there, you have to work hard. You have to spend sleepless nights. Those small steps you take that compound and leading you to your greater success. Tip number two, eliminate fear of losing. The minute you eliminate the fear of losing, this will actually open your heart, open your mind and open your psychology. What I mean by this is the fact that, remember, the only place you can ever be trapped is your psychology and your feelings. And the minute these things are damaged, automatically you're gonna fumble. And by fumbling, this leads to you having bad results. Because even before you place a trade, automatically in your head, you have lost it even before the market start moving. Sometimes what you think is what you attract. So when you say to yourself, you are a non-successful forex trader, already having these bad thoughts, yes guys, it is there, it's understandable. We've been there, done that. But it doesn't end, it's not the end of the game. Eliminate the fear of losing. Because the minute you eliminate the fear of losing you're gonna start seeing profitability because now you won't be scared to execute the next trade what i've came to understand especially when i'm teaching in my psychological classes of which guys there's gonna be a link in the next two days here on my description my psychology training pro trading um, course will be launching in january so click the link pre-save with only 50 dollars before i launch it because once it once it launches 
it will be hundred dollars per purchase so eliminate the fear of losing so with that being said you have to understand that what you think is sometimes what you attract and what you feel is sometimes what you really att attract so you gotta tap into the mindset of believing and acting as a winner even though things are not happening but remember the world listens the world somewhere somehow kind of has ears that don't even know how to explain it for some sort of reason you figure out something that you were thinking is actually something that's about to happen in the next five minutes so believe it in yourself and execute those trades no matter what it takes you might have those two losing trades in a day but that doesn't mean all the seven trades you took in a day will be, will be losses as well if probably they are then mark it as a bad day don't ever say you are a bad trader that is where you guys get it wrong you already mark yourself with who you not just because you lost some certain trades it is a norm guys to actually lose stop losing money before you make money because remember you gotta give to earn and that's what we call the process of trading obviously not everybody joins trading already thinking about a mentor and a lot of people or a lot of beginners are the actual ones that fumble along the way because them believing they can do it by themselves it's not a bad idea no lie guys i started that too by believing i would do it by myself only when i crushed i noticed i needed somebody to actually be there for me so don't ever do the same mistakes we've done when we started but start believing in yourself and believing that you need somebody to walk you through it but eliminate the fear of losing it's gonna destine you to failure tip number three be disciplined discipline is hard but worth it one thing i can tell you guys if you can train your mind for the next coming 21 day it is easy for your mindset to kind of adjust to what your subconscious mind is introduced to so what i normally say in assistance of eliminating the fear of losing practice taking trades and actually finding something to do that's going to make you if forget not really forget but distract you from being a child zombie if there's one thing i quite saw in the past few years is that a lot of traders we quite fumble because we have emotions attached the minute we start trading real money it is hard trust me i know for a fact i can't even neglect it but find something to do that's going to distract you from being a child zombie but what you need to do is to set up times that are going to assist you towards moderation or trade management what i normally do personally is that i wake up in the morning analyze the market make myself coffee thing and then after then around nine that's where i place my trades and then i have an, a, an alarm that alerts me around two to check on my trade that's where the new session kicks in and i have the last alarm around six that actually reminds of how my day has went with my tradings so that is how i managed and managed to discipline myself to that so this means if i place a trade at nine i never look at the market before actual um, 2 p.m actually hits and i hear my alarm ringing and or six i hear my alarm ring so that thing has became part of me that i don't look at the market for that time because i am practicing mastering my psychology and i'm practicing mastering my art of um, trade management so that's what you need be disciplined discipline guys is just those small details that a lot of people actually neglect and actually if you can focus on them they are the ones that can set you up for higher success this tip number four trade follow-up understand what makes you win and what makes you lose evaluate what makes you win and what makes you lose a lot of traders they quite fumble especially as they start their trading journey your focus is to grow the account that you end up neglecting what makes you end up blowing those accounts what's important is you gotta understand what makes me lose and what makes me win and by the time you find those that make you win guys it is very important to memorize to practice and to put them in high practice why because these are the things that make you profitable these are the things that make you a profitable trader and bear in mind if you can just follow the same step all the time you're gonna be able to notice what makes me win or what makes me lose what i've quite noticed for myself is that what makes me get some certain trades lost is sometimes for the fear of missing out so what would happen is i would trade or put a certain um, market overlook and then I'd assume my entry will be there and the minute I get to the market I find the market is already past there I sometimes want to be impulsive 
towards entering because I believe the market has actually left me. As I've said, most mentors won't mention that they also suffer from psychology, but because I'm the realist, I'm gonna even mention it right now that I do sometimes, but because of the discipline I've practiced, I've managed to let go even though the market has, has moved and all of that. So what I came to accept was that there is always the next opportunity. Never chase the market. Let the market chase you. Let the market want you to trade it by giving you proper setups and giving you proper entry urges that you're looking for, especially when you, for you to be profitable. So trade evaluation is important and trade follow up, it is important because you need to know what makes you win and actually what makes you lose. Tip number five, one strategy is enough stop trying copying every trader's strategy and believing you're going to be a profitable trader that's stupid that's genuinely crazy guys you can't do that to yourself why because it is very important what make to understand what makes you win that is the reason one of, that's one of the reasons i don't really follow a lot of traders the main thing was remember i once said follow somebody that best suits your character personality and how you want to be Follow that one person and they'll be able to lead you or guide you to what, towards what you want to become. Because if you follow a lot of traders, you want to be impressed of how everybody trades that you end up in a circle of doom of not knowing which strategy to follow. And now when you try to copy everybody, that's where you start losing your money and all of that. You don't want that for yourself because you have to follow one strategy. One simple way to find best strategy is finding that mentor that you feel like you belong to. The mentor that makes you, when you look at them, you genuinely feel like, you see this one, this one is the one. He's the one. He's the one. <laughs> so yeah, this one is genuinely the one. That's what you gotta keep. Don't be out here looking for everybody, looking at this trader, that trader, this trader, that trader. You are going to be confused. It's actually how it is. Stop trying to copy every mentor because when you do that, you're gonna end up confused. And trust me, as I said in one of my videos, it is possible to become a beginner trader for seven years. You've been a beginner trader for seven years and you were still a big, how are you a beginner in seven years, bro? Like what the heck is wrong with you? It's mainly because you're trying to follow everybody. Find somebody that best suits your character, your personality, and how you want to become as a trader. Stick to that person through thin and thick. Throughout that, you're going to learn how to maneuver around the market conditions. And this is going to show you how this strategy works in, in this season, and how this strategy works in this season, and how this strategy works in that season. It is important to understand that not everything will always be skyrocketing, guys. Nah. Everything moves in a wave. Sometimes it peaks, sometimes it it goes down sometimes it peaks sometimes it goes down but in overall it has to make you grow so stick to one strategy and keep up with it and that's it tip number six understand the use of different times the reason why i say this is because i had somebody who just recently enrolled to my academy and when he executed a trade he said he's seeing an impulse to the upside a correction on the to the downside on a daily time frame and he wanted to buy immediately and i told him dude do you even know what a daily time frame is for because imagine executing a buy just because you're seeing an overall buy on a daily time frame what about those four hour time frames those four hour candlesticks what about that one hour candlesticks what about those 15 minutes candlesticks what about that five minute candlesticks these things are meant for us to know when to enter. You can't just look on a daily time frame and already believe that the market is going to be buying and stuff like that. Guys, hell no. Totally, it's a no deal for me. So what you got to do is I'm actually going to give you the steps to follow and breaking down every time frame. A daily time frame. Guys, a daily time frame, we use it for a market overlook. This means we need to understand whether the market is bullish overall or it's bearish overall or is the market consolidating. So this is a, a daily time frame is where we build a playground. Remember on a field, that's where football players could play, but they can't play outside the field and you believe that you're playing um, a, a soccer match. No, you need to have a field for you to be a player. So it's the same thing in trading. 
you need to know whether we are in a bullish market in order for you to capitalize the four hour time frame the four hour time frame we use it for structures and and market liquidity so in this instance what i mean is that structures bear in mind we are in a bullish market and as we are in a bullish market in the daily time frame when we get on a four hour time frame we want to understand whether are we rising in a wedge are we correcting or are we impulsing or are we reversing or are we continuing this is where we actually get to understand these type of things is high liquidity uh, too much sellers or is high liquidity of buyers so once you understand that the volatility is actually bullish it gives you enough momentum to know what we look for on the next time frame which is an hourly time frame so in an hourly time frame we look for patterns and market structures as well but in nature we could say the market movement or to say the market faces so we all know the market moves in two directions it impulses it corrects so there's an impulse there's a correction so in a nutshell when you go on an, 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 on an on an hourly time frame an hourly time frame is there to tell you that okay we are actually in a correction phase right now so you need to look for possible continuations or possible reversals and then once you've gotten that from a one hour time frame you move to the next one which is a 15 minute time frame a 15 minute time frame this is where we get the entries you need to understand where does the market need to get for you to get that sell or where does the market need to get for you to get that buy and once it gets there you use a five minutes time frame a five minutes time frame out for a lack of a better word i would say it's for perfect execution because that's where you can clearly see a breakout or a reversal bear in mind every structure or pattern that you can actually see from within a market overall going out you can actually see it on every time frame it is possible to see an ascending structure on a daily four hour an hour 15 minute and five minute so a five minute time frame is actually the one that's perfect for execution but if you don't have a good strategy then you will struggle thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope this video was very much informative for you guys and i hope to you hit that like button and you subscribe and guys please make sure you like my videos share them and also don't forget to leave a comment down below as i've said a lot of people have been telling me about my psychology so they want me to train them psychologically and that is what i'm actually considering and i've considered that i'm going to do it guys the pre-saving link to my to my psychology pro trading uh, foundation it will be on the description make sure you pre-save it's only fifty dollars up until i launch it in january so you can pre-save from now as far most as i still drop the videos i'm gonna keep on reminding you but that's for people who want to master their art in psychology of trading because remember for you to master your trading for you to master the art of trading you have to be a trading artist you already know what's going on this is your boy the good and these are vs vsop xo lambda xo forex king of price action if you didn't know that you are the only one in hell who don't know pro game